And this is the uh, early morning ASMR voice I use. So a uh, couple people sent me a link for this when the uh, story came out yesterday. And <laughs> it's pretty funny. So uh, I've done several videos on how IDW and the G.I. Joe line has done this strong uh, hard left SJW cuck turn and kind of destroyed their own uh, the license they have. License is when a company that didn't create G.I. Joe uh, pays for the rights to make G.I. Joe comics. Now obviously if you're paying for the rights to do something you need to make extra money. Um, I don't have to pay to make a Jawbreakers book. I get to keep all the money but if I was make an Expendables book it pretty much had to sell twice as much. Um, the problem with G.I. Joe is that it sells about the average or less for any indie comic and then they also have to pay the license fee so um they've got two books one was with larry hama the, the guy who's been doing it since this picture right here like 1982 he wrote this one he's still writing it um uh gi joe real american hero and then they've always had the second book and the second book usually is trying to be more like mainstream or get a different audience um so, <laughs> in a completely idiotic idea, uh, S, uh, I, I'd almost called IDW SJW. IDW decided to get a far left extremist, proud and avowed socialist uh, to write G.I. Joe, a real American hero, and then change them to be an international hero, and then put all kinds of purse puppy clown uh, ridiculous characters in there. Now, one of the many, 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 many excuses uh, that the pro Aubrey Citizen people have used. Mind you, all the people caterwauling for Citizen to be put back on Joe or that he shouldn't have been taken off of Joe, none of them were Joe fans. None of them were tweeting, tweeting about his issues while they were coming out, but it's a big problem for SJWs to lose G.I. Joe because they really wanted it. This is, you know, died in the wool Americana. If you can subvert Joe, this is a major victory in the culture war. So one of the things uh, that I hate is that uh, these guys will say, um, G.I. Joe has always been about social justice. Okay, time out, T time out. When we say social justice, we're being sarcastic. We're talking about people who flip out about trifles. Um, and consider themselves to be badasses for having spurg out attacks online. Um, uh, actual social justice has effectively been won several decades ago. Everyone can vote, um, everyone can own property, uh, pretty much everyone can get married. Uh, I think, uh, so I guess the only real social justice frontier is like, that every single type of gay person can get married to every other type of person they want to get married to. That's basically it. When you're talking about racial stuff, when you're talking about gender stuff, at least the way it's presented, um, <laughs> the, the battle's been won, you know? Um, and at, one of the things they like to do is they're like, oh really? You don't like social justice? Look at this picture. It's got, from right to left, a Hispanic a uh, double minority, a woman and a ginger, a um, uh, African American, as they say, <laughs> black person, and then what's obviously a gay guy over. Like, look at those bangs. That guy's gay. Come on. This dude protects Cream City. Let's be honest. Um, by the way, I miss Captain Cummings. I'm not saying that I thought about him when I thought about a gay guy. I thought about him when I said protecting, because he's over uh, serving his country right now. So um, uh, I read this before, and it's just stupid and awful. So one of the things, like I said, is uh, G.I. Joe was always diverse. Uh, if you want to say diverse is social justice, like I said, social justice is used sarcastically. So when you say it was always for social justice, it's like, yeah, dude, we're being sarcastic. Let's just talk about diverse. It's always been diverse. Um, uh, they've even had you know female villains so uh so i'm just reading the article this is just a reminder when i look back at comic book history whenever i think there's something with world okay first of all this stentorian overly serious tone 
is a sign that you're a clown <laughs> and it's not, it's a sign that you're an SJW. I, I got to skip a lot of it because it's, it's a lot of this stupid tone. This time around, we're looking at some of the reactions to the recent G.I. Joe news about a new Hispanic female snake eyes and accusations about the decision making on the book being driven by social justice warriors. Um, um, so he talks about uh, critics of uh, critics of comic book creators introducing diverse versions of comic book characters. Uh, no, that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, we we do it when it's bad characters or when it's rewrite. Salvo wasn't a really famous character, but when you rewrite him as an obese Samoan woman because you say bald white guys equal KKK, we're not the racist you are. <laughs> um, so he's talking about how this wasn't sudden, like, you know, Salvo. This is, um, uh, what do you call it? It's been building for a year and a half. So here's Don Moreno, uh, who, by the way, joined Cobra. Um, so she's on the Cobra Youth. And then uh, she's a very typical of SJW character. Has a problem with men. Wants to compete with men. Um, I can play as rough as anyone. Okay. This uh, girl's about 97 pounds. The guy's about 190. When girls say stuff like this, uh, when situations are put like this, there's an understanding that the woman gets to play as hard as she wants while the guy has to constantly uh, pull his pun punches in and work to not hurt the woman. Um, this is basic genetics, basic uh, <laughs> human nature. Um, so it's it's an unfair comparison. So they talk about she was super competitive and blah, blah, blah. And then she uh, wears the cosplay uh, snake eyes. Here's one of the deals about these cosplay versions. By the way, what is <laughs> what is going on right here? I know. <laughs> what? You put body makeup to fade your armpit from gray to Hispanic? What what is <laughs> stop? That's stupid. Um uh then uh what do you call it? If Don Moreno is such a good great character, she could exist as Don Moreno with her own code name and costume and concept. One of the problems with all of these is they know they can't survive, just like this woman cannot survive on a literal playing field where this man with the busted hairline comes at her as hard as she's coming at him. This character cannot survive as Don Moreno and call her, I don't know, something stupid, Sword Star. Even if you come up with a much cooler name and a much cooler costume, she's always going to need to cosplay as the male character that people actually like. Um, art's pretty good. Um, so he basically says, it's not a gimmick because he's been building this for almost two years. That's fine. Um, what's even more amusing is that criticism over Larry Hama making decisions out of a desire for better diversity completely overlooks the fact that Hama has done the exact same thing on G.I. Joe for over 30 years. So then he says, the most diverse characters tend to get the most play. Yes, yeah, Stalker was... Um, at the front of the pack and a beloved character by everyone. The funny thing is that uh, uh, there's this guy, Gavin McInnes, he says that the, uh, the uh, demand for Nazis exceeds the supply. Uh, these aren't very racist times. You really, really got to look for actual racist and SJWs love funny, finding them. Honestly, I grew up in quite racist time. And you know what? I never heard one kid ever say, I ain't playing with that damn stalker colored jigaboo <laughs> like everyone liked stalker he was in the comics he was in the cartoon he had this dope beret he actually had camouflage where all the other joes were just flat green at the beginning people liked him um then they talk about how larry hama was uh, disappointed when the first uh asian character uh storm shadow was uh or when the first asian gi joe character uh, was a villain. Here's the shenanigansy part. Um, Torpedo 
who was a Navy SEAL, uh, was Asian. <laughs> he came out in the second. Uh, uh, the GI Joes had like a new class every year. They would they would debut new characters and they would come out with new, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, new costumes for older characters. So the second year is when the all the costumes got more colorful. They deb debuted uh, Storm Shadow. So he's like. He then decided that he was going to make their only Asian character one of the good guys. He slowly developed Storm Shadow's background. Um, no. <laughs> Torpedo, go look him up. Torpedo is Asian. He's Hawaiian and he's Asian. And he came out in the second run. Um, so then they talked about how he slowly made him into a hero. I would say at best he was an anti-hero. Um, and then it's like, also, not for nothing... But I spoke with the Hama over the term social justice warrior, and he told me that I embrace the term. Okay. Nobody is talking like a person. People, this is how TV people talk. This is how people being interviewed talk. I have never heard any person use phrases like, I embrace the term. Um... It was going to be a put down, but I don't see anything wrong in being a social justice warrior. Isn't that be, be better than being a vigilante with remorse? Okay, so that's like a weird uh, joke. Uh, I like how they put um, double quotes within double quotes. That's pretty swag. But um, anyway, uh, obviously, social justice warrior is supposed to be sarcastic. Um, if you want to be a social justice warrior, uh, you know, uh, go volunteer to fight ISIS or Taliban. <laughs> They're literally throwing gay people off of roofs, something that's not happening in America. Um, uh, the, the whole point about making fun of people, social justice warriors, is they could be warriors in a little sense as military, or they could be handling actual, real problems. But they're not doing either. It's all just for internet backpacks. It's all just for PB touches. It's all just for ego. Um, so the Don Moreno one is kind of a distraction. This isn't really about Don Moreno. This is about uh, IDW uh, getting permission from the industry to keep trying the social justice thing. Now, insiders have told me that they ain't touching social justice with a 10-foot pole. Uh, this is more of a kind of, we're not social justice, we're just regular guys. Um, uh, but they are doing social justice stuff. Don Moreno sucks as a character. Um, uh, she's not believable, and she can't stand on her own two feet. She's also got a spray-painted armpit that I find highly disturbing, but I'm betting Nurkish is, like, weirdly into it. I just, no. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, there's another one I'm going to do tomorrow morning, which is the top 10 controversial things of... Uh, I like doing these uh, screen cap ones in the morning because I got to get lean close and I'm kind of quiet. But honestly, this spray painted armpit is just freaking me the hell out and I feel like I'm being incepted. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the Super Chat and the Patreon. You're funding original content. And I just got the last page for issue two of Iron Sights. So... Um, I told the uh, artist to take a little break, uh, a little breaky poo, because uh, the <laughs> the script for the next two issues had way too much talking. He's really good at like action and gunfights, so I'm gonna rewrite the next two issues uh, to put more action in them, and then we're gonna resume in early January. But it's going good anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll have more videos up later today.